think I'll always be like this? Yes. <laughs> I'm serious. Do you think 10, 20, 30 years from now, you'll still be attracted to me? I'm more attracted to you now than the day of our wedding. <laughs> no way. Yes, way. Absolutely. Everything with us just keeps getting better and better. And I mean everything. <laughs> I hate that we were so far apart, but now that we're back together, this seems like this is what we are supposed to be doing. So we're the exception to the second rule of thermodynamics. Well, the rest of the universe moves towards chaos. We... Oh, well, we've definitely had our share. We have. And now that we're in this place, better than we've ever been, I'm going to do everything I can to protect that. Me too. I love you. You've got a good, sober, decent guy. And you're walking away. Why? So I'm supposed to stay with Dante knowing he's perfectly comfortable hiding things from me. Was he cheating on you with another woman? No. Did he rob a convenience store or gamble away your life savings no. at a casino? No. Oh, wait. I remember. He nobly protected your brother. And lied to me about it. He has trouble being honest with me. Don't be ridiculous. When I asked him if he would do the same thing again, he said yes. Don't expect him to be perfect. When I am in a relationship with someone, I need them to give me the straight answers and be honest with me. Lulu, where did you get this infantilized idea of a relationship? People who are madly in love sometimes fight about silly things. Things that are about unresolved issues. Like honesty? No, like self-worth and fear of abandonment. You fight until it's over and then you go on. Or you leave because it's too broken to be fixed. Here's the bottom line. To be in a rich, rewarding relationship means being willing to put in the work. It means trying when you don't want to try, forgiving when it's the last thing in the world you want to do. What if I can't do that? Okay. Then you end up alone. I've done alone. I've carved a nice life for myself. I don't ever have to put up with being hurt by another person. I don't have to deal with the flaws of another person. I don't go through the roller coaster ride of emotions that comes with a committed relationship. You make your life about work and money and stuff. And you need more and more as the hole gets deeper and deeper. What happens if someday the forces conspire against you. And all this stuff goes away. Do you know what you have? Nothing. My gun, Olivia. No. I'm not giving you the chance to make this worse. I'm not giving him the chance to kill you, son. You turn around and you walk out of here. I guess she's not buying you wanting to make the peace, you know? I don't know. I've been the only one that's been trying, sonny. You don't think he's gonna he's gonna try to take me out for his chance he gets, Olivia? Why his whack job of a father is out there committing crimes? Because I wanted to take you out of what been done a long time ago. You wanna do that? You wanna come after you? Come after me anytime you want. I'm right, right here, okay? Sonny, yeah. your daughter needs you. Please go be with her. We're not done. Do you see what you just almost did? Sonny, you are in serious, serious trouble. You say I am, I say I'm not. One thing I do know, I'll take him out anytime I want. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take this, take it! Slow down, terrible. It's nice you remember where I keep this thing. He's right my back. Could you please... Please just let this thing be done with, John. Be done? You, you heard Sonny. I don't think he's going to go for that. Sonny's not rational right now. You think? Sonny, you just... You need to be rational. I need to be rational. We need to keep this thing from escalating. So you just tried to throw me on my own balcony. You really think any sort of reason is going to permeate okay. that freaking skull? Okay. So stay out of his way. 
Stay away from him. Don't engage. Please, please, just take the high road. The high road. I don't think that exists anymore. You told me... You told me that you wanted to try and make a decent life for yourself. Yeah, and every time I think that's possible, Sonny reminds me that it's not. Get the girl out. I'll abort the drop. What do you want us to do with her? Find some place to chill. Don't worry about cleaning up evidence. Come on, Max. You just focus, okay? You were, you were sampling chocolate cake when, when I got icing on my finger, and and I, I need to find the napkins that I crumbled up. There's three napkins. That's where the ring is. Okay, ring, ring, ring. Wait. Oh, there's one. Oh, oh. You are not leaving my side until I get you back to Jason. Come on. You know what I'm going to do when we get home? What's that? I'm going to make you dinner. Oh, you don't have to do that. No. I want to. You deserve it. And then we're going to pick up where we left off in that shower. Mm. I like your work ethic. But wait, are you trying to score with the chief of staff or just plain score? I'm making excuses for Sonny. Yes, Olivia, you always do. I'm making excuses because... He built Brenda up in his mind as this as this perfect, ideal woman, this pure, unattainable thing that he finally had in his grasp. And when he lost that, he crushed it in the dust when she left him. As something broke inside him. Okay. You grew up with Sonny. You loved Sonny. You had his baby. So, yeah, you give him the benefit of the doubt because you have a history with him. i got a history with you, too, John. Okay. Sonny is in a dark place right now. I am begging you. Do not let him lure you down that path. Don't let him take you into that hole with him. You're better than that. And you deserve better. You know what I've realized, Olivia, is that no matter what people think they deserve, no matter how hard they try to alter their circumstances or no matter how good their intentions, it just doesn't happen. So what are you going to do if he comes after you? <sighs> Maybe I'm not going to let it get that far. I'm back at the hospital right now. Just, well, I'm waiting for my daughter to get out of surgery. Yeah, um, I need you to make arrangements to take care of Johnny Sakara. Lucky? Where are they now? 